guys! My name is Lainey and I go by Lainey Pie on the internet and welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought it'd be fun if we did the Breed Out the Weird Cash Challenge. But before we start, I think we should talk a little bit. So long time no see guys! It's been about three or so weeks since I posted my last video I think. So basically what happened was I had family in town and I wanted to spend as much time as I can with them. I only see them about once or twice a year because they live so far away and you know they work and stuff and have school so I wanted to spend my time with them while I could. Also my plan really wasn't to completely disappear for that time. My plan was to maybe cut down on the videos a week. I usually do every three or four days for a video but I decided to do once a week but so things just kind of got in the way and I just thought maybe I should take a break too because I was also starting to get a little burnt out in content so yeah it kind of worked out and I'm back <laughs> so hi so yeah I'm back videos are back and Lane fires back so yeah let's just jump right in also before we start I actually got a new G shade I've been using um Nixel's Boho Dreams G shade for a while now actually for yeah for a while now and I found another one so I've been using this El Kersey G shade um it's obviously by El Kersey or whatever I'll link it down below but this is the one I had before and I use this one now it's just basically like a brighter version of the old one and if you download it, it'll look a little different to what my game looks like. I unchecked a couple of these. So if you want it to look exactly like mine, just go through and uncheck the ones that I... Just make sure all these are checked and uncheck the ones that aren't checked. So yeah. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> so yeah, let's just jump right in. So we have Gisela Glung. She is our Gen Zero. She's a very interesting looking sim. She reminds me a little bit of Shrek, but like a girl version of Shrek. And yeah, here she is. And I think I'm gonna try and breed out her, just everything, in about five generations, I think. So I think I already know who I wanna do. Um, I have my uh, people that I, did makeovers, my townie makeovers, that's it. I also put them on the gallery if you guys want to download them. Somebody asked me and I'm like, okay, sure. So I put them on the gallery and I think I might use the BFF household. I'll use the BFF household and I think I might use Hugo and Anna too. So yeah, let's just add them to the game. We'll not replace, we'll merge and we'll start with Hugo and Anna. Items removed. What do you mean items removed? Maybe it was like my old skin and stuff. I don't know. I think I'm only going to do girls this time around. And then maybe we can do another breed out the weird for only guys. But this time I only want to do girlies. Because I'm just getting the swing of things and I prefer girls. So sorry boys, but I really prefer <laughs> making girls in The Sims. So we'll play with genetics with Gisela. And we'll do Hugo first. And we'll make them a girly. And we'll randomize three times. So one, this is the girly that we ended up with. She's an interesting looking. So she's a child. Her name is one, two, three, Erin Glung. I can see a lot of her mom. Just like a lot of her mom. Where's Hugo? I think her nose is Hugo. But I can't tell. So let's age her up into a young adult and see. Lugor, the Rhea Roba. Um, her eyes, I think, and her nose are Hugo. But the rest is um <laughs> very Gisela. So here's our Gen 1, technically, because Gisela's Gen 0, and then we have five people after that I don't know oh I literally just I just remembered that I didn't explain how to do this so whenever we do the next one I'll explain 
so we'll randomize her traits. I'm sorry, this is all, all over the place. I've been trying to record, but it's kind of stressful kind of coming back into it, you know, after not doing it for a while, so yeah. So now I'll explain how you do it. So you have your sim, your base sim, and you have five generations to breed them out. As you saw before, you play with genetics, and then you use a normal looking sim. We're gonna use Anna, since we already did Hugo. And basically, you're trying to breed out all the extreme features. So Anna's gonna try and help us <laughs> breed out all of the extreme features, is basically what I'm trying to say. So we'll randomize three. So this is randomized one. Oh, she's cute. Two. And the last one is three. And here we go. Here is our Gen 2. I still see a lot of Hugo. Honestly, actually, I don't see a lot of anyone, to be honest with you. So we won't really know until we age her up. So your name is Natalie, I think. Na Nathalie? Natalie? I don't know. I'll call you Nat... Nat uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a lot worse than I thought it'd be. Um, yeah, there's that. So now we have two, we'll get rid of our guys. Bye Hugo, love you. Sorry. Bye Anna, love you. Now I think I'm gonna do the BFF household. We will, we'll merge. So I think we'll do Travis first. We'll go to Nathalie, Nat, Nat, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna, Rock, rock, no. Crystal, okay, Crystal. <laughs> we will do Crystal and we will breed with, um, what's your name again? Travis. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cobra Blood. So we got Travis with Crystal. So we'll go one, two, wait, two, three. And this is our girly. She's kind of cute, I think. I can't tell. It's hard when they're children, like I said before, but, you know. Ruby, Kassara. She's, oh no. <laughs> so here's her mom. Well, I guess I kind of see a little bit of a difference. And here's her. Oh, she has a normal body type. Did she have a normal? Oh, she did have a normal body type. I didn't even realize that. So Anna bred out the body type, which is good. And she also bred out the skin tone, which is good as well. So here's our next gen. So we have three. So next is Liberty. Thank you, Travis. We love you. We know you. We love you, I guess. <laughs> I don't know about love, but we know you. So we'll do, we'll play with genetics. And our second to last time, we'll do Liberty. Blake and Liberty. So we'll go one. Wait, no, that's a boy. Sorry. <laughs> so this is one, two, three. This is the last one. Okay. I can't tell. Oh my gosh. What is with her eyes? Um. Um, oh, she's cute. That scared me so much. I think she had like, where is it? These, the Scalera, like one of these. Yeah, she did. That is terrifying. Please never do that again, game. So London, and we'll age you up. Hopefully she's good-ish because we have summer last and that's, oh, oh that? no, Deroy. she still has the very white face and the very exaggerated chin. Hopefully Summer can help us out, but if not, then I'll try and CC her up and make her look better, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> we'll try. Thank you, Liberty, for your service. And last but not least, we have Summer Holiday to help us out with our last generation. Please come through summer. Please, we need a regular, please. Like I know people have this, like a really long face, but I don't really think it's real. that's like a realistic long face, if that makes any sense. So 
So London and summer holiday. So one, two, three. This is our last chance. Will summer come through? We will know in three, two, one. The Chisa Wallake. Summer pulled through. She's really, really tall. But Summer pulled through. Here, look. Let me take the skin details off. It'll load. Yes. I always get so lucky. I feel like I always get so lucky. It's crazy. But look, she came through. Isn't that awesome? She's really tall. Oh, that's why she's tall. She had um, boots that had a slider that makes them taller. But yeah, this is our ending sim. I see a lot of summer in her. I see a lot of summer. Your name is, I don't know, no, Kendra. So here's Kendra, she is our final gen. And I think it's time for her little makeover. I think she's so pretty. She reminds me. I think she has Liberty's lips. But Summer's eyes, maybe? I don't know. I'm not very good at pointing out that stuff. So yeah, let's give her her makeover and see what she looks like. So I think I'm going to start with her eyebrows. And no, I'm not going to change her hair color to like a more natural color i love the yellow swatch so we're gonna keep it we'll go for these eyebrows and we'll go for some skin details now i know i already said this but i'm really sorry <laughs> that things are all over the place i haven't recorded in a while and i'm trying to get back in the swing of things so yeah she does have a really big a really long face still but it looks really good on her i think it's a more realistic long face if that makes any sense maybe this one i got a i got a couple more skin details lately just because i was bored with the ones i had so i've been trying to use them but that's another thing. I also went CC shopping like a lot, so I have a lot more clothes and stuff, so it'll be more fun for me to like do some makeovers and stuff. We'll go for that one that I liked. It's this one. We'll go for this one. Okay, so I'm done with her skin details. I think she's looking really cute. I did lift her lips up a little, but that's pretty much all I did. She's just so naturally pretty. She looks a lot like her, her mom. She has lots of mom. No, I guess maybe not. I don't know. I don't know who she looks like, but yeah. I think, I just think she's pretty. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So time for some skin detail. Wait, <laughs> time for some eyes. I think going, for these like a lot but i've been really liking not the wait she has brown eyes they have these i like i really like these g31s right now like look how cute they are they're really pretty especially the swatch like her eyes are so vibrant and pretty here look i guess that's pretty too <laughs> they're all pretty i like these so we'll go for these and no I've actually been doing outfit first lately actually so we'll do that um, I got a lot of new clothes I've been CC shopping in a really long time so I just got new stuff like a lot of new stuff I'm not saying this is I had a lot of CC before but now I really have a lot of CC I think over the past three weeks, I've probably downloaded like three or five thousand more stuff. Maybe not that much, but maybe three thousand more CC. But you know, I have a hard time making Sims that I don't really know a backstory to. But you know, 
You know what? I think I'm gonna just do whatever. Oh, there she goes. Some poses. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, you're done. That is cute. I don't know what her vibe is, but I love this. I just got this new top, and I think it's so cute. I love the little holes in it, and I love that it also has like a little bralette under it or a bra or whatever, I don't know. I just love how it looks, so that's an option. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's adorable. Maybe I will go for this. Oh, that's an option. I don't know if I'll go for it, but it's an option, definitely. So going downloading more CC and taking a break from YouTube and stuff has really sparked my love for content again. So I'm really, so I'm really happy I took the break and stuff. Oh, that's cute. I have a Sim in my current household that wears this top. No, actually I changed it because she's an adult now, but she did wear this top at one point. So yeah. Um, <laughs> If you want a video on my current household, maybe I can make a video someday about it. That is cute too. It's like I'm seeing it for the first time. I haven't. I've seen this many times, but it's like... I've seen this stuff before, but I'm like, whoa, it's so cute. But yeah, Lainey, you've seen it. You downloaded it. It's not like it just popped in your game. You had no idea, you know? So like I was thinking... Oh, that's cute too. Maybe some like this color. It matches the angels or the these. That's cute. I love that. You know what? I actually really like this. I think I'm gonna go for these pants. And lastly, we'll do not even lastly, I have the hair and the makeup to do. We'll do some shoes. I want something that matches the shirt. So maybe like a light blue, are these like Adrian pastel shoes like this, and accessories. I think I'm going to give her some nails, maybe we'll just do these, just some plain, no actually, I want to do some like really cool nails, like maybe some long ones, I don't know why. Are these milky ones? How cool, those, those are sick. And now we'll go for hair. I'm sorry for like the weird way of doing this. I'm trying to figure out a different way of doing this kind of stuff just so it's easier for me. And lately been doing the clothes and then hair then makeup has really made things a lot easier for me. So I've been doing that. Oh, that's cute. I was gonna give that to Dina Caliente, but I decided last minute to not. But it looks really cute on her. So I guess that's an option. Oh, that's cute hair. It's really shiny though. It's kind of hurting my eyes, but I really like it on her. This will be an option. What in the world? What the world? Oh, that's a cute hair, but it doesn't have the yellow swatch. That's weird. See, it's like it's on yellow. That's weird. I like that hair on her though. Maybe I will go for like a curly hair on her. I kind of like this on her. Maybe we will go for this. Like that. And then... So it's this. This. So super straight. Or this curly. You know, it hurts my eyes, but I really like this straight hair on her. Maybe I can try and find something like it. That's not so shiny. I was thinking, I know there's this one hair, like this hair, is what I was thinking. But I don't know if I like it on her. Yeah, I'll just go for number three. Oh no. Yeah, we'll go for number three. And now for some makeups. Since she has uh, blonde hair, Technically yellow, but also blonde. I gave her brown eyelashes. And I'm gonna give her just some brown makeup. Nothing too much, just brown. <laughs> like this, I love this eyeliner by um, Gopal's Me. It's so pretty. 
and then lips. There's this, it's not new at all, like at all. It was before the slider update, but I love these lips, these, and they're just so pretty on people, especially this swatch, like look. She's so cute, I love her. I might go for something different though. I've also been using more Maxis Match makeup lately. Like I know I just used uh, Go Pulls Me Eyeliner, but I have been using more Maxis Match makeup lately. So, and I've been really liking it. But I like this um, eyeliner by Go Pulls Me. Wait, I also, with that said, I do like um, these lips by Go Pulls Me though. I just think they're so pretty on her. And then last but not least, I might do some eyeliner. Well, I guess not last but not least, but last but not least on this makeup, yeah. Oh my gosh. I just, maybe just some like really subtle makeup like this. That's not subtle at all, but like that. She's not my favorite sim I've ever made, but she's not the worst considering the fact that she would that her like great 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 something grandma is Gisela so she was she's not really a sim that I would personally make but she's very good considering where we started and so you can't see her ears so I am gonna give her a little necklace real quick oh no she already has a belt I can't do it I was gonna give her like a I mean I guess I still could do it we can see if it works no not that not that we can see if it still works with it. Um, these, like, these things. Yeah, I think it's just too much with her belt. If there wasn't a belt, I probably would do it. But she is really pretty. With, like, her vibe. I don't even know what her vibe is. Whatever I do, but what I do know is that I think she's cute, but she's not my style. I already said that. Haha. <laughs> Maybe, like, in this kind of necklace? Which is really cute. And then like maybe a yellow to match like these things. I think they're angels. I'm not really sure. I don't want to say anything wrong and if they're not angels, please let me know. And I like that. So I think we're done with Kendra. So, oh I forgot to delete Summer. We'll do that real quick. I think she turned out super cute. But I really do like how she looks. Honestly, she doesn't look like any of the sims that I would make, which I guess is a really good thing if you really think about it, you know? So yeah, I think we're done. So before we end, I'm going to do a recap. So we have Gisela, she is our Gen Zero. We have her daughter, Erin, who still looks a lot like her mom, but I think Hugo was first. I think Hugo bred out the eyes and the nose, which is good. And then we have Crystal, who I see now has her body bred out, which is good. Then we have Blake. Then next we have London, who looks very good still. It's just her, her, just the length of her head and this weird chin thing. And finally, we have Kendra, who we ended up with. So yeah, I think we're done here. I think I'm gonna also give her some, just this real quick. And then there's something I wanna talk to you guys about. So, I've never played Strangerville before, like at all. I've had it for years. In years 
and I've been really wanting to play it and I was wondering if you guys would want a, a mini let's play on it. I was going to do it anyway so I thought it'd be fun if we did it together. Just let me know what you guys think down below. I just thought that'd be really fun. I already know I have island challenge and I know my whole channel like what my most popular videos are. Uh, makeovers and stuff you know cast stuff but I really do love gameplay and I thought it'd be fun if we did StrangerVille together so yeah tell me what you guys think about that if you guys want to do that or I should just play it by myself just let me know so yeah I think I'm gonna wrap things up anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching please like share comment subscribe tell me what you guys think about the StrangerVille idea and I'll see you guys next time bye guys